Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. Welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland Radio Biafra here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPO evangelist in my mother of Chimachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiba province of Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcast under IPOB. Now the candy is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement. Illegally detained. Thank you. So let us move forward. And before we do that, we must appreciate our Creator by thanking Him alone. Narekele, Narotuto, Narodijama, Narambulelu, Narichisi, Iguchi, Chinekende, Nanai, and the chapter in Ria in Navy. Chinekende, Ojuku, Ndi Gusrani, and Lani Tat, Gusani Bojo Debre, Guanya Hani, Guanyan Munani. Chineke nam de kano, chineke ipi yobi. Chineke ndi ESM. Aye bulie gelu ni hini ibuchi. Na hagi chi uku okike. Abi amara uri meheni ile we have prayed. Ise. Ise. Ise thank you. Thank you. It will be short. It's like about three brokers. I need to join, do them fast, fast now. But let us just start with this one. So now, what says the topic? Let me check. The consistency of IPOB and the present situation Nigeria is. Hey. <laughs> people, we told our people, now they can't promise them, which is IPOB, said, I ain't gonna answer here. And I love. People misunderstood. That is why. Everything IPOB avoided was what Nigeria gave to the infiltrator. Because everything IPOB avoided, there are people that wanted it. There are people that need it. So then there are people that believe in IPOB um, way of um, agitation. So Nigeria now saw those people who doesn't believe in IPOB modus operandi or IPOB self-determination approach. Those who believe in war. Nigeria studied it and said, anybody we bring out, hence the person is shouting war, trouble. Those group, automatically, those group, those people that have not joined IPOB or those that are neutral in it, automatically they become your followers. To make sure they create two faces, two way of orders, two channels of orders. The same thing they did in 1967 by creating River State. Automatically, anybody that comes out with that very um, method will have followers. Do you understand? So Nigeria saw them as opposition to the very approach of IPOB. And keeping them to be used in due time, which have come and the past. What we are now seeing are Mount Agaziaja, mass period that are now pouring sand. Because the, the cane, cane, that is cane, is the power of mass period. You use it to flog you. But when the children have collected the, the cane of the mass period, the mass period they start carrying sand, pouring sand. That is what we are seeing now. What Nigeria presented have been destroyed by IPOB. How? Consistency. We told them you will come, you may join them, you may even join without knowing what they are doing. You may even think they are doing it right, you think you are doing it right. 
Time is coming when you become weak. You did not come with the same mentality we came with. You become weak, and time is will come. People will now see those that are interested in the evil against our people. Be before people cannot separate them, before people cannot see them and say these people are so so people. But gradually, people started removing themselves. Gradually, people started withdrawing until it remained the main evil ones. Now you understand. Now, how do our consistency put Nigeria in this condition? Have Nigeria succeeded in all their plan? Will their citizens discover that things are hard? Had they succeeded? They didn't succeed. What, did, what is happening to Nigeria? It is a reverse course. Every evil against us have reversed. Why did it reverse against their citizens and their government? It's because we are still standing firm. If we are defeated, they will be using IPUB defeat as their, their as a, that is, their presentation. They will tell Nigerians that they use their money, they use their DC to make sure Nigeria is not divided, to make sure they defeat IPOB, to make sure they jail them they can. They would have used us as their defense, but today they don't have defense. Because we are standing firm, we were not destroyed. So they cannot present IPOB to Nigerian citizens and say, you will, not, you will not thank us because we are fighting IPOB. If they say so, the Nigerians will ask them, what is the result of your fight against IPOB? They have no result. Do you understand? So the IPOB is always what they keep as their defense. When they failed their country, they now position the IPOB and say, if we defeat IPOB, we will now use it as defense over the hardship. But now they have no defense. Because we are standing firm. Do you understand? Now no politician in the East can make mouth before anybody now. They can only make mouth if they defeat IPOB. They can only make mouth if there is no ESM. The same champagne they drank the day, the day Namdekan was brought back to Nigeria. They never drank it again. They would have repeated it had there been no IPOB. They would have repeated that celebration had there been no ESM. What is putting Nigeria in their condition today is a reverse course. All their evil against IPOB reverse to them and they have nothing to defend it because their citizens are seeing clearly. They were presenting IPOB and then the as the problem. Had we allowed them to defeat us, their citizens would believe we are the problem. Consistency is the key. This is why we are guiding our people. The best thing you have done is to become one. We appoint an IPOB from Bayesa. We appoint from Rivers. We appoint from Bay across the river. We appoint from Aquaibon. We appoint from Delta. We appoint from different parts of Biafra land. We appoint from Egala. We appoint from Idoma. We appoint from different every area in Biafra land. This is what they avoided. This is the reason of South, South and South East. It is your achievement. It is not when you set our land ablaze that you achieve something. You pin Nigeria down until their citizens began to see how evil their, their leaders are. Before they were hiding. They were using the Igbo. They were using everybody from the East to defense as the problem. Today, if we have not been here, how can their citizens believe that their government is bad? For long, they have never been bad. It is only Igbo that is bad. It is IPOB, Igbo that is the problem until IPOB came. They start singing IPOB. Until we say we are moving nowhere, we'll be here to sort it out today. They are saying they are evil. They are seeing every policy is against Igbo. The Nigerian citizens keep accepting it. Every policy is against us. They keep welcoming it. Thinking it will favor them, it have reversed. It have reversed. That is why IPOB is taking positions. People don't know. Did we return back to farm? Yes. <laughs> we are taking positions. If you want to show the world that you are capable to be a nation, there are things you need to present. There are things the world need to see. Are we occupying spaces? 
Yes, we are occupying spaces. Go and ask the governors. Are we occupying the heart of our people? Yes, it is needed. You must take those positions before anything happens. If you fail to do it, you will fail. Have we ever come into the school? No, there are levels who will reach. You will see us in schools in Biafra land. Bringing our own things needed to be taught in school. We will tell you that you must teach this thing in school. By then, we have occupied other spaces. We are, we are just advancing. We will not be calling, we will not be mentioning, but we are just moving. You see those positions they took from us, from our fathers, we are occupying it bit by bit. Anything they do now, we are at the game. Anything they do, that is why we told our people, our primary mission is to secure Nam Kano, save his life, then secure IPOB. If you secure IPOB, you, Nam Kano is free from being jailed. Do you understand? So he needs to be alive, right? And see what, so that we can see we, we, his case can expose Nigeria the more. Do you see how we fight? We never focus on only freeing them they can. We need to make sure that he have, that is, his level still remains. How? That IPOB is still remaining. If there is no IPOB, he will be downgraded. So in fighting for his freedom, you must also show Nigeria, show the world who he is. How? By keeping IPOB safe. That is who Nandekanu is. IPOB. Yes. Sir. Then what do you have to do? Make sure his life is safe. Then secure his achievement. Legacies. IPOB. ESM. And our international image. Global image that have no stain. Do you understand? If you fail to maintain it, you rubbish in Nandekanu. That is why people who don't know what we are doing, they only focus on free our leader, free our leader. They want to destroy what took him there so that his effort to become useless. We did not start with freeing Namde Kano. We start by demanding for a freedom. Freeing Namde Kano is what we saw on the road. It is a matters arising. We have been meeting things on the road. Kidnapping of our people, killings of our people as we keep marching. So we jam that one on the road. It will not warrant you to dump your activities, destroy your achievement, then focus on only free Namdekan. That was the target of the government, that will open our back and focus on only free Namdekan. And even people from our land, even IPOB members who don't know what we are doing, they thought that if free Namdekan is the problem, what is keeping him there is that what he kept is still there. They kept him there to destroy those things. It refused to be destroyed. He committed nothing than to organize IPOB, that's all. Organization that cannot be controlled by the government. A very serious organization that have never happened to Nigeria since it was created. That is the crime of Nandekam. Forget the charges. And what can you do to show that Nandekam is a man? Maintain that thing that is making the enemy angry, which is IPOB. Why is it that they carry us from our, our mouth every time in their mouth? They carry us in their mouth. IPOB, IPOB, now they can. Now you understand. Now you understand. People who don't know what we are doing. Do you know that people say they want us to forget the African fight for leaving Namdekan? And they, they, their belief is that if Namdekan come out, he'll correct everything. You must be mad. You must be foolish. Anyone you lose, you lose it. Any position Namdekan IPOB occupied, if you eventually remove your leg, then Nigeria is there already. They occupy it. You cannot take it back again. All those positions we have, all those areas we have occupied, they saw us as miscreant when we were occupying it. Now that they have waken, we are now fighting with them. Before they allowed us, they believe it will be easy. Until we took these positions, today they are struggling. We never re agreed to remove our leg. We keep moving. And some people want us to drop it there. And because of Loli Flenamika, that is where their, mental, their knowledge reaches. What do you have to do? Save his life. Secure IPOB. Then make sure that the, our people's interest is still on Biafra. Make sure that 
our people's interest is still on Biafra, is still Biafra, then you have win. You have won. How do you won? Only him and that those people will react. Yeah, but those people are waiting for him. Understand now. What about IPOB? If you damage the image of IPOB and allow IPOB to be seen as terrorists in the world, the only people, the only president that Namdekan can talk to when he's out are terrorist countries. He cannot meet with the genuine men. He can only meet them in secret. That is secret communication. Invalid, that one will not even have strength. It will not have power. We are creating chances for Khan that his, all his movement will be expressed through. He will come out with that stain. This is what we fought. It's not easy, man. It's not easy to keep Namdekan innocent. Namdekan cannot commit crime, and, he, and there he is. It is IPOB that will commit crime that they will, tag, they, that they will be charging him for. That is to say, IPOB is the one that have it is in our hand to make him innocent it is in our hand to implicate him it is in our hand to make namdekan to be jailed he cannot commit anything there he's in detention understand this that is why they brought infiltrators to manipulate you with your love to, Nam with, to namdekan and your love for biafra they want to use it against the biafra and then and they can unknowingly to you. Unknowingly, they use what you love. Right? And they use you to destroy what you love. They show you what you love. They told you how they love that thing more than you. Then you now surrender yourself to them. They started using you against what you love. And you thought you are still securing that thing you love. You don't know you are destroying it. Do you understand? Thank you. So that is it. Our consistency is the problem in the north. Our consistency is the problem in the west. Had we not been there, they would be rejoicing. Even if they are dying in hunger, they would be rejoicing. Why are they trying to re revolt somehow? It's because Upon these lies to them that they are fighting agitation, they are fighting agitation. The agitation is still progressing and the citizens are going down in hunger. And Nigeria is using their resources to bribe the international community. Keep lying to their citizens and they have come back. <laughs> they want to eat now, they are hungry. <laughs> IPOV consistency. It will destroy Nigeria to the ground. IPOV consistency will naked every secret in Nigeria. Had we not been here, anything they tag on our people, it will go. Who will defend you? Does Ohanes have voice? They don't have voice. They have limited voice. Do you understand? Their voice has been limited. How? Not that somebody cannot say anything. It doesn't matter what they say. It has a level it will operate. It will reach. It doesn't matter what organizations say because we defended this land. They call them rebels. Right? They have no, they don't have the same, uh, they are not in the same level with the Northerners and the West. They cannot say the same thing. That is why they, they either, they better condemn them, their people, because they want to receive one thing from the government of Nigeria. So, before the Ohanese or governor will bring back one thing for you, if before they go to Abuja and bring you a transformer, <laughs> they have condemned your image. You yourself, that they brought the transformer to, you are already condemned. So, they have nothing to achieve than to sell us out and they will give them. Anything they, they brought here is a bribe. Just bribe. Not that they, they will qualify it. Not that we, are de we deserve it. No. They see us as people who have kicked against Nigeria. So they are rebels. They have limited voice. Only IPOB. 
That's why we separated ourselves from their politics. And we said, do your thing, leave us. But they refused. Still, we are still the voice. All of them have limited voices, both the governors, both senators. They have limited... Who are, are they citizens? Okay, why do they beg after court to decide in America? If they, ha if do they have the same level with the North, why didn't they come back from Senate as a protest? Why didn't the House of Red members return when they disobey court order? What will be their ground? I cannot be making laws in the National Assembly and Senate and the appointee, Attorney General, will be truncating it. It's better I'm not a senator. Very simple. You go and stay in your home. Those of you from here. But you, <laughs> you are not the same level with the Northerners. Northerners will return. They will not come to the Senate. If you disobey such order on the person that... It, it, let me just say a politician or not a, a, an innocent in the country. Just a politician. If, because of one person now, if you keep one person in detention and the court will free one person and you disobey court order, the Northern Senators will, will return. They will not come to the Senate. Because they are the Nigerians. Their voice will be, they will be, <laughs> they will be listened to. <laughs> Do you understand? When senators, House of Rep members make laws, an appointee that is not elected, Attorney General of Nigeria, appointee, appointee, he was appointed under the law that was made by the Senate. <laughs> and he truncated a, a, a pickle judgment. And senators from the East remained in the Senate. To do which law? To make another law? Another law that will not be obeyed? No. <laughs> they have sense now. A simple protest. Simple protest if you love your people. So that you'll be valued. Not only for camp, for you. I told traditional rulers, I asked them, why did you sell out, sell out your, 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 your palace? That's why they shoot, the army went to Ngwa to Obimba and went inside the palace and killed the prince and his friend. And said they, later they said they were misinformed. What actually caused that? Because the prince of Afaruku Namde Kano, Nigerian army went to the palace of Lady Israel Uku Kano to kill the prince of Afaruku, keep Biafra aside. That's what I told the traditional ruler. Keep Biafra. Keep, just use your... That is, we are talking about palace and the prince. You have palace, you have prince and princesses. They invaded the palace in search to kill a prince. It failed. They killed people. Why didn't you sue Nigerian army for invading a palace in Igbo land and shedding blood? You didn't do it. <laughs> then you created a chance for them. They will keep invading your palace. They will keep using you as useless people. Even when I uh, have uh, a, a state high court gave a verdict concerning what Nigerian government said on the kind of John Bell on the 19th of February, 19th of January 2022, 19th of January 2022, yes, the appeal court and um, the state high court, um, I have, which have the, the jurisdiction to try to hear such case of jumping Bell, right? Because the incident took place in Omar. So now, the court ruled that Imam Khan did not jump bail. But he escaped military assassination attempt. Immediately, I got, we got this very judgment. I returned back a broker to the traditional rulers. I said this is an opportunity. Maybe if you come up that time, they will say you are defending uh, the Afro terror. Okay, now, the court have ruled. Go to IPOB lawyer, get the copy of this very judgment and use it to challenge the, um, what is it called? The Nigerian army. For invading a palace, you connect everybody involved. Okay, see, as the government of Aden, you connect everybody involved. That shows love. But all of you say, because it's not your palace, your palace was not invaded. Today, they can come to your palace. Today, no traditional ruler is valued. Is va they have any value from Igbo land. It doesn't matter your level. Are you not a slave? IPOB gave all of you grant. You refuse to take your grant. 
because you hate us. You see us as if we are overthrowing you. Are we dragging position with you? We created all chances for you to get back to the seaport. We created a chance for you to, with our life. They were killing us. They were calling you on phone. These governors and politicians. They were killing us on protests. They were also calling you on phone to stop us. When they call you, what you are supposed to do is to tell them, give us seaport. They are complaining about seaport. But you will not say, that, okay, there are children. We will stop them. We expected you to say, give them international airport in Calabar. We expected you to say, withdraw at least three, four multinational oil companies, headquarters, down to Igocha, River State, as they called, down to Bayesa, down to Apaibom, and down to Cross River. Four, at least four. National is not here. Shell is not here. Chevron is, all of them, none of the capital is, the headquarters is here. We expected this from them. No way. We expected there are many things. All this, everything we needed should have come then. You treat Nigeria like only 419. How many times? Hey, there are children, we have met them. They say you will construct road, you will make our federal road to be nice. How much can you will go on and on and say they will still call you and say, Why are they still agitating? A one or one car. We expected this thing, I watch only here. Ndo ndo do she who number of gas and half or you name or unu. Half or you name knows I saw unu. Now we are going on our corner. Let me continue with the what I was saying. I'm going to go to the food brokers who made the run. Oh no, I come now there for politicians. Can I just go to my own time? Not to listen. Director, say, did they move? Let me, they have brought company of fun on the making money. Nambekano said, Jitremu ne wita. Hapo umwe ya, umwe ya mje umwe wita ni. Kai hapo kudu umwe wita, chowa ne. Don't give me news of governors. Give me news of president. Nambekano. Thank you. So we move. What are we saying? Consistency under command. Not consistency under your own command. No. On your own. Consistency under the command of IPUP have set Nigeria ablaze. They will kill themselves. You know, on your account, we be not today. right? Uh, do um, I cover Right? On your Right? On your had we not circled this, had we not, uh, that is, protected our effort, when I got no power like Nigerians, I got no power, we will be confused like Nigerians. Do you understand? For somebody to be mentioning in Amdekano today is because there is IPOB he leads. Why do they mention his name again? If something happened to him, he is leading people. All the people he's leading cannot succumb. Do you understand? If they are 100, at least 60 will retaliate. <laughs> yeah, mathematics are not wrong. That is why their first target was to destroy IPOB, then they can handle them, they can anyhow they like. So after all, they came back to table and say, these people are still there. <laughs> We are there now. We buy naga. Do they give us the year? Did they name? Did I P.O.B. tell us the year? The Afra will come. We buy naga. Do we have ten? We buy naga. No. We fight on. If you go back, you die. As a Nigeria, you die. Hence, you are from the east. As a Nigeria, die. even if you are from not from the east, if you are from the north or Yoruba man, you are determined to die because here is a condemned criminal cell. Your governors are warders. That is, governor are DCP, deputy controller of prisons. So your states are maximum prisons, right? And minimums. So that's what your states are. That is British prison, where they dump condemned criminals. So your president, as a Nigerian president, is a controller general of prisons, controller general of British prison. 
in Africa. So all of you are condemned. All Nigerian citizens are condemned. Even we that are here, that are Biafras, we are condemned. Hence, you allow Nigerian umbrella to cover you. How? If Flani can come out and shoot you, <laughs> Flani can block Oshobo. Flani can just come out with a gun and block Olokoja. Who are you? Are you not a condemned criminal? You can be killed at any time. Civil defense can come out and shoot you. <laughs> if all those safety can cause accident, you die. That is how it goes. That is the, how the life of condemned criminal is. You can be killed. Your name, you, they will just pick you and kill you. It doesn't matter if you're a politician. It doesn't matter. You can be kidnapped by a felony. You can be kidnapped by terror Boko Haram. You can be killed. You can be bombarded by the army. And they will tell you that we are looking for terrorists. They will bomb your home. Bomb your children. <laughs> so how do you think that citizens of that very area are alive? There's nothing like a, 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 a that is a, a, a designed to be alive. No. They are not, uh, <laughs> that place is not part of the place that people should be alive. Where you'll be moving on the road now. Some people will come out with a cow and block the road. And if you talk, they will bring out a for seven and shoot you. Tell me if you are not a condemned criminal if, before that thing will happen. Tell me where it will happen. Only CC inmates, only CC condemned criminal inmates that they, to, this morning now the government they will just pass a book. Um, they will just pass signal to the through the attorney general. They will pass it to the prison officers. That's it from attorney general. Governor will sign. Chief justice will sign. Right? Commissioner of police will also sign. And it will come to the prison. <laughs> prison waters and they will take it to record and record will go through you and then they will call your name you just come they will take you if it is murder you will go to gallo they will hang you and that gallo will just go cover it like it's meant cover the person's face draw it the person will die if it is by robbery fire and squad they will take you to the place they you will jam with the army so that is how it is to condemn criminal. Had it been that people, citizens of Nigeria, are like um, life as life imprisonment, it would be better. Life imprisonment, imprisonment uh, those that are on life as they can just be living their life there. They are just that place is their compound. But Nigerian citizens are not like that. <laughs> they are all condemned. You will vote; they will not come to your vote. It doesn't matter because you are condemned criminal. Your president will die. They will bring in poster. It doesn't matter because you are a condemned criminal. <laughs> condemned criminal doesn't vote. That is why their vote cannot be counted. This should be, be joined with another broadcast. But let me continue. This thing I'm saying, it should be joined with another broadcast. But let me <laughs> continue. Let us move. So, as we are saying, Nigeria is almost... You know what we did to Nigeria? Do you know how many branches we have cut? We are still cutting branches with our consistency. You know, Namdekano started from the root, the branch, the root. Radio Biafra. We started cutting the root, cutting the root that is holding. You know, Nigeria have lasted, is a tree, big tree, Iroko tree. They have lasted 100 and something years. You don't just come and shoot at um, <laughs> Ama JK. Or you shoot at, uh, at uh, where, where is it called? Bala. You shoot a gun at um, um, Omaka, Johnson. And my Biafra will come. It's a lie. This is a foundation of lie that have lasted 100 and something years. They have tap root that was that uh, est was established with lies. False, false tap roots. What did IPOB do? Now the kind came on Radio Biafra. Start cutting those roots up. Because they have they have this threat. Tap root, set one. We first of all cut those ones that are connected to it. First of all, with the radio Biafra, with the truth. We started cutting it. Let me give you an example. When the Buhari was go, went to France, what did the Nandika do? The radio Biafra do? What did radio Biafra Radio Biafra informed the French politicians that we are not worried and nobody is stopping them from inviting a terrorist. But they should know that immediately you invite a terrorist, 
and you hug a terrorist, he automatically you become a terrorist. Then he's not advising them not to invite a, a pedophile. They are free, but they should be mindful that immediately you stretch out your hand to shake a pedophile, your hand turns to the hand of pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> when the Buhari reached to France, the French politicians, look at how they were standing. How all of their, their hands was at the back. They, look at where, how they were looking Buhari. They didn't, who, do you want to become terrorists? Do you want to become pedophile? <laughs> we cut off the roots. We start cutting off the root. Cutting off the root. Cutting off the root. Until it remains that straight one. Now we came to the branches. We start cutting off the branches. Who are the branches? The friends they made with our oil. How do we cut off? We started being consistent, fighting without deviating from self determination. And some of the friends they made with our oil and lies started leaving them. Their friends started abandoning them. Their friends started abandoning as we keep agitating some nigerian friends countries start continue to abandon them that is cutting off the branches he called to tell nigeria i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you we told them cool old time here again we buy years also now you choose road quite very very dangerous when you shake up and when you show a few people i'm going to few people when they can hide from those people I don't want to carry the serious. So, the anger of Nigeria is that now I go to shallow branches. They use oil to build branches. Countries, they made friends with our oil. <laughs> they cut those branches, you know. We, we have been cutting it. The more we have it, the more we cut it, the more we are. The, when we are cutting them, we are making more friends. That is why when Nambikano was kidnapped, it was when the leadership of IPOB start going, moving for their diplomatic, um, making their diplomatic moves, that's when they started to discover the enemies of Biaf uh, Nigeria. Pure the main countries that are enemies of Nigeria. When IPOB leadership meet this one, they will even tell IPOB leadership that the other country, the other country, they are in enmity with Nigeria. They will, they will even direct the IPOB leadership. <laughs> they, will start, they started showing us the enemies of Nigeria. You can never know their enemies. You will think they are good with all, everybody until we started moving. And then we started seeing our enemies. And we started seeing people we made friends. How their enemies started seeing us as their enemies. <laughs> That's when the leadership started correcting some things. Correct people, we made friends. In the open. All their enemies started seeing us as enemies. And I'm mad again. I know Jesus. 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 I teach her about block. We put her there block. We teach her about block. Because now you're the in the open instead of him, me. Since the leadership started making friends, Otesh made friends now, now freedom fighting one day. Open Rotoshi Nigeria and Amatas in Denya. Your enemy will now be only major, not to Namono, Nero, Madu Kuraka. Yeah, who must own you? We faced this thing for complete two years. Nam the Kano kidnapper. Two years I faced the trouble now. Hi people, Mati People create that is problem. If you are not in Nigeria, people create that is problem everywhere. After all, the Zena and Waiko. I told our people, in here we have zero latitude and zero longitude. You are the center of the world. We are the zero. They refuse to add zero in their one, two, three. But when they want to write 10, they will bring 0. When they want to write 20, they will write 2 and 0. When they want to write 100, they will write 1 and 0, 0. And you ask them, where do you exactly pick the 0? The 0 is not in your figure. So you have, you presented only 9 figures as your 1, 2, 3. How do you now make 0? 
Did you invoke zero? Because you hated the people. You hated the particular people. You started your counting from one instead of zero. We are the zero, center of the world. Everybody sees us. We are not in secret. I don't know what you are I got toilet, I got no mama, I saw my mind. That's why we told her, be careful. Be careful. For that, you know. A man, do you think that is the reason? We are not hiding. I'm on a center. Zero. People, because they want to hide us, they remove zero. They write from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the end of their figures. That they can use to write trillion, write billion, write zillion, write million. This nine. But if these people can write 500, they will put a zero. Is the zero among the. It's supposed to be 10. You made it nine. Because you want to hide the effort. You know, our people don't know who we are. Say, go low down, I will not have your other chance there in Haji. For us, he came in a minute, and they are not again. I was gonna have the ache. This people that took your ten in one room, how were they? They are strong now, that's why they took it. Do you understand? <laughs> so, before you collect it back, you must be wise, you, you must be wise, intelligence, and diligence. Then also, you will be strong. You don't move like them. IPOB should not fight like Nigeria. Nigeria have already become country. And now, they can cover up their crime with something. And it's not easy for you to cover up your anything you commit. Right? Nigeria will have to expose it. So we need to fight carefully. We need to fight carefully. One is that they don't value the cities, the human beings living in our land. That is why always they try to drag war to our land to kill our people. What will you do? You be careful. Children, even children, if you come to fight with them in their company, they will try to drag you out. They will say, "Le kai po a po, But in our own issue, idiots will go to the north and call them. Say. Come to Biafra land. We are fighting war with the Nigerian army. Hey, we are fighting war. Say, you are a fool, a idiot. <laughs> if you destroy something, okay, no problem. But to adults, the natural beautiful Biafrans, with the Mabu, the natural with the 20 pounds. We have Biafra army. We are fighting with the Nigerian army. In our land, we are fighting. Say, say, idiot. Little idiot. Abam Batunobe. Abam Bat. Some people are not getting along. I know. Hey, we are fighting Nigerian army. They must leave our land. This is the the one more here. Even children are more wiser than you. For a guy go to field, you look for trouble, you run back to your house and you, you, you open gate. For somebody you have problem with outside, you open gate so that you will fight the battle in your compound. So, before anything good, in a woman, I have maybe good in If I'm anywhere like I will fall, things will break. That is your compound, that is your house. These are things I will be studied. Oh, my number, I'm not a lack of an acquaintance. I met a muddy with our brain. By the whip to see him, I won't actually whip to hear him. By then, it was only me. By the one we have been shooting before, since we have been shooting, what did we achieve? I got born on the title. Who again? The top ball. You must make him. You must maintain the innocence of Nam Dekan. You must maintain his innocence. How? By keeping IPOB 
in the lane of self-determination. We have the right for self-defense. The army does not go for self-defense. So civilians can apply self-defense. So we don't have army. If we have army, it is no longer a self-defense. <laughs> you are now fighting war. Are you understanding? So if you declare army now, without the Afra Republic, you have betrayed our land. So how do you value anybody that says they have army? Automatically, you have sold out to the citizens of that place. You have invited army to come and kill them. But why are our people still alive? Why is it that the Nigerian army have no such ground? They tried to create it, but IPOB refused to allow them. Why is it that they don't do it? They don't just go and start bombarding. Because they have army. Because USA, you must take it to the US government. And some other countries. Then if you take it to them, what will you say? You will say that a faceless group launch army. <laughs> the Afro army. You must be mad. Then if you report that IPOB declare army, when the state, Secretary of State listen to you, they will go to IPOB press release and go to IPOB radio Biafra brokers and search for it because we have channel of voicing. Now you know that we are not um, ordinary. We are state actors. We have channel where you can go and verify because an individual can say something in IPOB. You will go and confirm it from IPOB leadership. That's why when one criminal in Finland told the Finland government that um, he's in charge of IPOB in the absence of Unamdikana, the Finnish government went to IPOB address. I, I am open on why image and one address. They connected IPOB leadership, that is our address. And the Mapo Afu published. And the IPOB reported to them that the criminal have never been IPOB member. Talk more of leading IPOB. And the Mapuafo published that he have never been IPOB member. Then, instead of the criminal to show his uh, idiots what make him IPOB member, do you know what he do? He started shouting. Now that the Mapuafo is supposed to present Biafra to Finnish government, he was there talking about me. He is there talking about me, Aron Abagi. Government DSS came to investigate crime in your community. You leave the crime investigation, start presenting bridge. You start telling DSS, we, we don't have bridge, oh. we don't have drinking water, Aron Abagi. Do they come for bridge? Do they come for drinking water? They came to investigate the pollution of their name by somebody living in their country who instigated violence in another country using their citizenship. So in order to set their image, um, save their ima the image of their country, they sent the journalists to go and investigate that crime. And when they investigated, they returned back to you and say, why did you do it? He said, you do it because Sunam Mekano told you. They said, why? He said, you are in charge of IPOB. And they connected IPOB as IPOB. IPOB said he's not our member. So, why did the criminal deviate from the point? He ran to what people want to listen. He's supposed to present Biafra to international as if we don't have national coordinator in Finland. These are idiots. So, we can have Finland IPOB family and the Finnish does not know about Biafra. So, it is when they come to investigate killing of a pregnant woman in the Hindu that you committed in, while in their country. That is when IPOB will not present Biafra because you are an idiot. But I am not going to be but before them, we will occupy our spaces. <laughs> we are occupying it. I am not a look idiot. We will occupy these positions to the extent that if they want it anyhow, we will start it. We cannot be hanging and be fighting. Just like people who say they have army. They are running, but Nigerian army barracks, they are enjoying. The armies are sitting and they're checking point, eating. <laughs>
toasting our women. Because nobody is directing. There is no war. If there is war, how do you see checking point? It can go on it, I will take a point. On that war, some barracks will vacate. War. The army will still occupy the barracks at Makanaha with Chineke. Here in Biafra land, we will manufacture, instead we put it our lives, manufacture what we use to destroy the barracks. The same time, the same day. We will not do it if we jam, we jam a, a two division today. We will allow them to send those in 14 Brigade or half and those in um, uh, Bully Camp, or those at Obinze, or those at Seliugu, or those at Onichaoka, or those at... No! We will start it once, those in Asaba will be fighting those in Asaba. Where are you moving to? What will be in Anam? Trouble will be in Anam, I mean Anam, but face us in Anam, but trouble will be in Imo, I mean Imo, face us in Imo. Who will give you a chance? To move army from Obinze and then from Arochuku or Hafia and then from uh, from Obori Camp, you push them to Ebony because you are God. You are the one who created the world. We will now allow you, their threats will be free for you while I be is holding God. Oh my no, yeah. So our consistency has pinned them down and exposed them to their citizens. They will no longer succeed in using. Their fragmentation as a defense to the suffering they have created for their citizens. You no longer use us as your defense. Our consistency has exposed you. You told your citizens that you are fighting IPOB. You stole all their money. You keep borrowing. Today, no more going front, no more coming back. No more going back. Nigeria is now at the middle of the sea. We are now spectators. We are now part of the spectators watching Nigeria playing. <laughs> we are now watching Nigeria. Watching Acheba Egesha to each other. Any mistake I have, thank God we make use of any chance. COVID 19, I So, any chance in Nigeria great. I we have a position. Couple of people occupy. I am not going to post. I am not going to wear. Even Nigeria, if you see Nigeria, we have an embassy. Nigerian government, they have a send them. They send them. Mind you, that I probably have occupied a space. So they may use yes and IPOB, yes and IPOB as a defense to convince to deceive their citizens they lie. Immediately, IPOB occupy a space. Like, just like when any time international community call them and tell them about a referendum. So they will send the message to the northerners. So you will hear people like Ibratai. And Nigeria unity is unnegotiable. One northerner again will say, Nigeria is indivisible because a signal came from international body. So when they are saying this, they are not talking to you. They are replying international body. You can't quench it now. You can't quench it. Are we comfortable? No. So how can we go and relax and you quench our fire? So are we comfortable? We are not comfortable. So this is what I have on this very topic. I want to provide that. I want to do another one now. I want, to, I want Nigerians to come and tell us the kind of protest they want to do. What is exactly their problem? Because I want to present their problem to them now. Join me immediately. Thank you from me, Fearless Afiobi Evangelist Mazemara Chumachuku. I'm from here, our homeland radio Biafra. Thank you. It is good afternoon. Join us immediately here.